thank everybody who voted for each of the players in our current championship lineup. To close out our first season, we're gonna have the four you voted for play off, and in our first round, we have Steve leading his White Scars versus Rupert and his Yanari. Watch the Custodes under Sterling Backtrick face off against the Thousand Sons and Zinch with Mike Buns. Four men will enter, one will become the champion. My name is Rupert and I'm playing Yunari. I play Yunari because I'm actually a huge fan of the Eldar Fluff. And so the idea that a god of death is starting to be formed and uh, has brought completely new life in weird ways to the Eldar fan base and also to the rule set is just stupendous. If I could have fit the Yinkan into my list, I would have. I like my lists to always have an authentic feel. I, I like to have them play at least close to how I think they should feel on the tabletop versus, yeah. Yunari has uh, strong characters, uh, characters juiced up by the God of Death, so I have some of those. Um, they did really a lot of work for me last time. Then I have a lot of troops. Um, I looked at doing a double battalion, but uh, Eldar troops are not that awesome. So instead, I took a Crimson Hunter Exarch, which I'm using, um, so Inari really is allied between Ivrain and the Corsairs, so I brought my Corsair Crimson Hunter X up model, which I love. Um, and that should throw a little bit of a, a wrench into the plans of these Imperial players. Uh, I have my typical Alatok firebase. I have a few jet bikes with scatter lasers. I have my Dark Reapers, um, trying to keep them, keep the opponent honest by throwing some, some shots at them. And then I brought, I brought the A-Team. I brought some Shining Spears, I brought some Fire Dragons, and I brought some Howling Banshees. Bet you haven't seen Howling Banshees for a long time. There are certain tricks and tools that I keep at my disposal, but I don't really rock out with a single strategy. It's, uh, you be like water. You move as the opponent moves, and you adapt to what the opponent's doing. There's so many times you show up and you think it's a shooting list, and then they charge you, so you have to watch out. Who is the biggest threat, and what do I think of the competition? All of them are solid guys. Uh, I have played all of them before. Steven is the only person that's ever beaten me. And that was because we played Maelstrom and I rolled a D3 and rolled a one, and he rolled a D3 and rolled a three, and he beat me by one point. <laughs> I am Steve from Play On Tabletop, and I am playing White Scars. The new con model is so awesome, and uh, I was like, well, I have to build a White Scars army. Trying it out, and I love it. I absolutely love it. How I built it was around con, so I have uh, con plus a big posse of intercessors along with him. I feel White Scars are very up there and in your face army, so I decided to put in some infiltrators. Uh, to really put the pressure on, and I backed that up with a Phobos Librarian and an Invictus Warsuit. So it is a real in there kind of army. My strategy uh, kind of changes depending on what my opponent is playing. Uh, some armies, you need to kind of eat around the core, uh, so to speak. So like, let's say I were playing a, a huge army like orcs, I wouldn't just run into an orc army because you can't fight it all at once. So then a more conservative, uh, a more conservative play style would be beneficial, holding back, taking one unit of boys out at a time and then going for the core of the army in the later turns of the game. Uh, some armies like Imperial Guard, you just gotta get in there because they're, they're gonna outshoot you no matter what. And I feel like Space Marines have the ability to do both strategies. In order to win the championship, I need to beat Mike. I don't know if I'm gonna get to play him, but I realize that I beat him once, and never again. Sterling, the hat is intimidating, although Custodes, I feel like I, I, I beat him on model count and I'm playing Space Marines, so I feel like I can do a lot of board control. Assuming I win round one, you know, as much as I don't want to play Mike in the finals, damn it, I want to play Mike in the finals. I feel like, I played him in the first, our first battle report. And he beat me, and I would love to bookend the seasons with me just spiking down Mike. Like it'll, be like, it'll be like a hilarious loss. Being part of the play on team is unreal. People know who I am now, and it, it's very strange. And what we do here is really unique because we see this like an opportunity to bring the whole Warhammer community something truly different. And we love what we do.
My message to my opponents, beware white scars are coming for you. Like turn one. My name is Sterling Batrick. I play Adeptus Custodes. I've been playing Adeptus Custodes for three years now, since the very end of 7th when they first came out. Uh, I love the aesthetic of the Custodes. I love just everything about them, their design, the color scheme. It's really the only truly loyal uh, members of the Imperium still. My Custodes attachment for uh, this particular scenario is uh, being led by Trijan Valoris. Uh, he is uh, Sort of the, the crucial part there, given the rerolls of ones to both hit and wounds. A couple of Sagittarium units, which are uh, now troops, thanks to uh, the most recent update due from Forge World. There's two units of three man Sagittarium, as well as uh, a three man spear squad. Uh, supporting those elements is a shield captain on bike. Uh, in addition to that, I have the uh, minus one to hit flag, the uh, Vexilla Magifica. And then most importantly, the biggest support elements of the army are the two Arachnus Blaze Cannon, Caladius Grav Tanks. Uh, those are going to be the biggest hitters. They're going to take out whatever screens and whatever big heavy hitters are on the opposite side of the field. Uh, hopefully well before they get into charge range. And even if they get into charge range, good luck, I'm Custodes. Whenever it comes to any kind of strategy, I fall back to my base roots, which is StarCraft, and that is I castle up, I shoot you until I feel confident in pushing out. And as soon as I can push out and grab those objectives without detrimenting my army and essentially just throwing a unit into the wind and losing it right away, I'm in a golden spot. What it's gonna take for me to win the championship is being very precise on each of my actions that I do and making sure that when I make those saves, I'm not rolling those ones. Out of all of my opponents and their uh, respective armies, the army that I am the most afraid of is probably the Thousand Suns and those Psychers. Being able to just buy to a couple of units is terrifying. Being chosen for the play on championships is a big honor. I know a lot of the votes came for the hat, but uh, to be uh, honored enough to wear the hat is, is a fantastic feeling. I've been playing Custodes for a long time and being able to show off my collection and show off what I've done with it is just an amazing opportunity that I'll never be able to forget. Uh, with regards to feedback and comments, I think the number one thing is that people seem to have a problem with the way that I pronounce Custodes. Uh, Honestly, I don't give two, two Astrades with regards to how I say my custards. Um, to me, they're custardians, they're custos, they're custodes, they're custodies. Whatever you want to call them, I have a hundred of them. So, who's winning? Custodies. Custode. Custodies. Custodes. Custodies. Custard. I'm Mike Buns, I'm playing uh, Zeech Marines, basically. Playing some Thousand Suns and then some Red Corsairs with Marcus Zeech because Zeech is the way to go. I play my army because, really, I have a lot of models in the Chaos Space Marine Army that I really, really enjoy. They look super cool and, you know, Chaos is the way to go. So, I'm playing Zeech Marines uh, and essentially, I like synergy. Let's make it work. So, all the demon engines are demons of Zeech. So the Zeech Demon Prince from the Thousand Suns attachment actually gives them rerolls ones to hit, which is kind of a nice bonus. So there's some little synergy there, uh, as well as the D Lord, or the Lord uh, Discordant, I believe he's called, uh, gives plus one to hit to all those uh, sexy demon engines that I'm running with. They're not that great on their own, but when you start comboing things together, they actually do some work. There's no standard strategy. Uh, the list is extremely flexible. Uh, What's gonna, what it's going to take for me to win the championship is to not fail my invulnerable saves. There's going to be a lot of high DACA coming my way in the near future, and uh, that's basically what it's going to come down to. I'm not sure who my biggest threat is in this competition. I'm definitely concerned about everybody who's playing. We're all in the playoffs for a reason. I don't want to slam on Steve, but I have a pretty good track record against him, so I'm not super worried, but he is playing those new Space Marines, and haven't had that many games in against them yet, so not sure everything that they can do, and I know he's gonna catch me with my pants down. He's just waiting for it.
massive rent in unreality has been uncovered in the heart of an abandoned imperial city. Its power calls many to claim it and many more to shut it down and protect humanity from its foul forces. Khan sees this thing as the greatest trophy of all time. So Khan is, sees it as an opportunity to put something serious on his fireplace. My understanding, we're on the planet. It's kind of opened up uh, right where we are. So this technology, obviously, it, it belongs to them. For, we're here for a reason. I want it. It's mine. No one else is getting it.